Three killed as Southside Gang feud reignites. My viewers and my subscribers, bag of things are going in a Kingston. Me I tell you, say, holy pa gang, a beat can after each other and people are drop like fly. Right at now, me I go tell you the full details with everything. Me I tell you, say, John, no, it crazy, crazy, crazy something I go on. I am the jackal, Jamaican assassin, killing all names. You already know what it is, man. For you hear the voice, you already know it's the urban legend himself. Baga Things Media TV, subscribe to it. You and the family, you can vibe to it. Accurate news, ain't no lies to it. You know this the truth. Subscribe, stupid. Yeah, man, you know what it is, man. Jamaican assassin killing all names. Representing for the baddest channel on YouTube TV. Baga Things Media TV, man. The only place you need to be tapped into. Jackal said that. Yes, no man, ladies and gentlemen, we there again. Reading from the Observer. Here where Observer has to say now. A long-running gang feud in Southside, Central Kingston, has been reignited with a vengeance, leaving three people slap with and gone. One of them blaze up can find three people, and the people them are gone. And then other, other people get injured too, you know. Holy pa can't beat up on some other people. Them wounded and in a hospital bag of sitting. Residents of section of Southside are now cowering in fear as the feud, which believed have been settled, has seen gangsters targeting their opponents in a deadly game of tit for tat. Me bombi nigga, a game alone, me hear them a sitting in a man, them a target them each other like this. Like say, hey, you take out the one, yeah? Alright, me, I go take out back one of you. Because you take out one of my man, them. you deal with, you come so boom, bam, bam. I slap one of, one of my bridge in them. So what I go go on with you now? Me, I go slap one of your bridge in too. A tit for tat, the man, them a playing, no? tit for tat. When the Jamaica Observer visited the community yesterday, Tight-lipped resident refused to speak with our teams, our news team, as everyone claimed they had no information on the slapway that went on. But observer sources said the spark for the latest bloodletting was an attack on a group of people in the community on election day, in which three people were wet up. It believed that two era leaders who were in the group were the target of those gunmen. Since then, there have been several threats and warnings of reprisal before the tree murder this week. The victim include 26-year-old Ross Amigo McDonald, a labor of Fleet Street in the community. The police report said that about 11.55 Tuesday morning, McDonald was sitting on a bucket on Arbor Street when a white motor car drove up to where he was. Two men armed with big machine alighted from the vehicle and blazed up corn on McDonald, hitting him on his upper body and he pronounced their right there on the spot. He didn't make it, ladies and gentlemen. The men then escaped in a waiting motor vehicle. John no star metal said them boy the dangerous no blood plate you know. Now the paper goes on to say hours later in what is believed to be a reprisal for McDonald's slapway, gunmen attack 26 year old Duane Dunbar otherwise called killer and a 21 year old woman at the intersection of Barry Street and Maiden Lane. So the man them say hey you deal with blood plate, my you, the McDonald's saw. So. May I come back for somebody in your community? And the man them surely did. The man them is a reprisal of McDonald's that, you know. I saw the police them believe, and I believe the same thing too. Because the whole incident just happened in the same space of time. You see me, I say. Now, according to the police report, about 4.30 Tuesday afternoon, Dunbar and the woman were standing at the intersection when they were approached by two men on a motorcycle. Motorcycle, motorcycle, motorcycle. What comes to mind? <laughs> yang Yang bike comes to mind right there. I don't know about that. I just can't get the Yang Yang bike out of my mind. Every time I hear motorcycle, it's the Yang Yang come to mind. The pillion rider alighted from the motorcycle and opened fire at Dunbar, hitting him. In the upper body, a peer upper body, them a money I wet up people, but you know, 
be up about they know what they do they must make sure say you're gone so they must hit you on the upper body the vital areas where all your vital organs are at this say boy they must target the woman ran when a man pointed his big old burner in her direction and opened fire two police constables who were at the nearby golden street police station responded to the gunfire and rushed to the scene where they saw the gunman about to mount the waiting motorcycle. Jeez, I'm um, peace. I hope they ain't catch him. I nah, like. Here we go on before I go this up. Who not subscribe yet? Please hurry up and do so. No, see a bag of things media TV. I like the place already. Up and running. Like up your video, man. Big and serious, man. You see it? Here we must say no. Come on, the police catch a boy now. The gunman pointed his firearm in the direction of the constable who took evasive action and fired at him. It is now yet known if the gunman was shot by the police, but he managed to escape on a motorcycle. The shootings continue on Thursday when a 27-year-old man whose name is being withheld was attacked while standing at the intersection of Love Lane and Charles Street about 5.20 p.m. The police say the man was approached by two men armed with handguns who opened fire, hitting him in the upper body. He ran and was chased by the men who continued firing at him. So right now, at the third person, this being approached by a bad man, you know, and wait up, you know, and he get it up on the upper body, the man him target the upper body, because the man him make sure he a boy, no, sir, you have to go. You see all the bad man them work? I don't lie at some serious thing I go on in the area there. The whole heap of gang feud. Cha no star. Here we go on there now. The injured man managed to escape his attacker and was assisted to hospital by residents where he was treated and admitted in serious but stable condition. The brother is lucky. I don't lie star. God definitely in his pocket. I'm glad to make it true still. I see it. In the meantime, Residents say the killing of residents of Golden Streets or Gold Street in the neighborhood Kingston Eastern Police Division on Thursday morning was also linked to the gang feud. I nah lie, everything connect right there, so everything links. So, man, I slap with him, man. You slap with this someone, and this someone, I slap with that the money. I just say, thing I go, you know, it thing get crazy. My viewers and my subscriber. He has been identified as 25-year-old Stefan Hoffman. The police say Hoffman was among a group of men at a construction site on Port Royal Street near the Tower Street Adult Correctional Center when a black Nissan AD wagon drove up and stopped at the left side of the road facing an easterly direction. Now I want to hear what really go on now. Two men immediately alighted from the car, brandishing pie pie in their hands. They came out with two burners you know, and opened fire in the direction of the group. Hoffman ran but was chased by the two men who continued to fire at him. He was hit multiple times and pronounced, 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 ladies and gentlemen. So sad. You where people continue to say no. Two other men in the group were also hit, but their injuries are not considered life-threatening. Head of the Kingston Central Police Division, Superintendent Maldria Jones, directed the observer to the communications armed of the force for any information on the latest flare-up. But our news team saw heavily armed police personnel, some drawn from outside of the division, patrolling south side as crime we are resident looked on. Hey, me, I tell you, it's really sad, you know. And I want to apologize for the manner in which I have to convey the information. What happened is that YouTube don't like when you use certain words that they deem as being graphic and violent and so forth. So we have to kind of like sweet up the information, sweet up the words, them and kind of change them up certain way because you don't know a thing already. YouTube kind of again certain graphic words. You use certain words too much and certain things. They don't want it. So forgive me pardon me on that one you don't know it thing go already yes no man so what go on right now Holy if flare up the man them just lose their mind right now everybody decides a boy man have to drop every side of fight against this side they fight against that side 
and that side they are fight against that the side there. that the gang they are fight against that the gang there, and it just continue the cycle continues man now nah, lie and we all look upon the thing and say yo you know make no sense and all this two man approach the next man you know and wet him up you know you say go then when the man them forward for you man them decide say boy you not gonna make it i saw the man them are dealing with it right about now so heavy police presence in the area I try to stop the world. I got team. things media TV, man. Thank you for watching. Make sure you share it. Make sure you subscribe. Press that notification bell to stay updated, man. Jamaican assassin killing all names. Urban legend. Jackal out.